have a game plan. A game plan. First, we're going to identify the type of variation. Oh boy! Then, we're going to set up the generic with appropriate variables. Then, we're going to solve for k. <laughs> Fork. And then, we're going to set up the specific with our found k. Okay! And then finally, you answer the question. So what's the problem? If you wanted to see the one on frisbees, I tossed it out. Why? So that we could use a little leverage. Like that show on TNT? No, I do like it though. Using leverage, the basic law of leverage is that the force required to lift an object is inversely proportional how? Inverse. to the length L of the lever, or is it lever, whatever. If a force is 2,000 pounds applied two feet from the pivot point would lift a car, then what force would be required at 10 feet to lift the car? Hmm, I don't car. Let's do the math. Leverage. If you have a favorite character, put it below. So here we go. What do they say? They say that the leverage, the force, is inversely proportional to what? The length of the lever. So one. This is inverse. Two. They are all written the same way. First sentence tells you what kind of variation and what else. The letters to use, and that's what you do's and twos. They say, in two, that the force is inversely proportional to what? The length of the lever. Oh, how clever. Further, in the second sentence, before the comma, they give you the information in order to find K. Okay. So they say that, boom, 2,000 pounds of force is going to move this car when the length of the lever is 2 feet. Finish him. Find that K. Multiply both sides by 2, and K is going to be 4,000. Now we're going to take that found K, and we're going to get a specific equation, specifically putting that over here. So then my force is going to be, this is step 4, sure, 4,000 divided by the length of the lever. How clever. Now what do we do? We answer the question. The question is, how much force is going to be needed if we move our fulcrum further out? How far out? Ten feet far. Yeah. So, then, in step five, they give us the length. The length of ten. So then, the force is going to be 4,000. That was my constant of variation. And then, my new length is 10. So, finish him. This force is going to be 400 pounds. Box. That was some heavy lifting.